At the Spitfire factory, Alex is starting work on the job he's been looking forward to from the start, assembling the Greek Spitfire's instrument panel. There's quite a few different gauges in the Spitfire, all telling you very various bits of information that are all important to the role that you're doing. And so the one I've got here is a voltmeter. It literally just tells you how much voltage is in, in the aircraft's battery. The wire on the positive, the wire on the negative. Oh, wow. It's about 24 volts, but despite being sat in a packet for 75 plus years, it still works. But I've got an original fuel tank gauge, and so that will go in the instrument panel, as well as a couple of other bits and pieces here as well, like a, another, an RPM gauge. Inside the cockpit of a Spitfire, there are over 50 different gauges and switches all needing their own connections to the aircraft's electrical, hydraulic and pneumatic systems. Installing them all is a very delicate process. I want to be careful not to kick and scratch everything. First we've got the RPM gauge will sit up here and I've got to make some spaces so it sits at the right level but it should be flush with the front of the gauge, I mean the front of the panel like that. That's quite an important gauge, so it sits quite high up in the pilot's face. In here is a, another panel that's on spring mounts, so that the, the instruments in there are very fragile, they don't get damaged. So RPM gauge there, and then below there goes the boost gauge, like that, which will sit about there. We just make sure I haven't put it upside down. So there'd be the starter here and the booster here. And they used to talk about um, Starting a Spitfire, you used to do the V for victory because you need two fingers, so you go like that, hit the booster and the starter, and then release the booster and hold it on the starter, and then the engine coughs, and then, yeah, into life she goes. There'll definitely be a good couple of days' work involved in it. You don't want to rush it because it's the, like I say, it's the, the first thing you really focus on when you get in an aircraft, and it's something you spend a lot of time looking at when you're flying them. So um, you want to make sure it's right. 